Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this is going to be a full review of the Logitech G703. Um, made probably a mouse that I underrated more than any other mouse. Um, I got it on a Prime Day sale for $57. That was an absolute steal. I made a video then. I was like, you should really take advantage of the sale. Um, but if you did not and you're watching it now, it is $80. And for what you're getting, I think it's the cheapest mouse with the best wireless tech. Um, it's a bit cheaper in the Viper Ultimate, I believe. And the only major issue... I would say is the stock fee they they really do suck another thing i had seen in the comments was people saying that the mouse develops double clicking over time and obviously that is the case with some old logitech mice that use the 50ms i can say that the click feel is really great on this mouse i'll get into that later um i've never had a bad experience with a logitech mouse double clicking my first ever mouse was the g pro the egg shape then i got the g pro wireless which i used for a long time i've just never had the issues don't have it yet on this mouse but i believe it could be a problem um but honestly i'm not going to factor that in since it isn't happening on my copy and there's just no quality concerns i have the mouse is 93 grams made by logitech so you're expecting perfect like build quality and that's what you get um, at least on my unit i have no problems with the scroll wheel with the side buttons um, the side buttons are probably i've used them for a while now i think i like them more than like the ultralight two side buttons my favorite side buttons they're huge they're placed perfectly you're not going to accidentally click them so many companies make side buttons small and like skinny because they're like oh we don't want any accidental presses it's like a button made for pressing the logitech does not do that they give big clicky admirable side buttons and yeah like i said they're probably the best on any mouse uh, what to talk about now? I guess the shape. Um, the reason I enjoy this is because I like the super light shape for claw grip, and it is just a very easy transition. I'm telling you that my grip feels nearly the same on both mice, um, but since it's ergo, I guess it just flares out to the human hand better and is superior. Um, got a lot of comments about that on my G703 video. And if you look at the base of the mouse, that's really the best way to see the shape of it. I s learned that from Rocket Jump ninja um leave a like and sub if you love rocket jump ninja um but you see the sensor i think unless i'm just tweaking out it is slanted and that is like a bit interesting i really i'm not gonna lie i can't feel it like when i'm aiming um there's no like major adjustment for me but it definitely appears slanted at least the sensor ring placement is slanted and uh you see these are tiger ice feet because i the stock feet just suck, in my opinion. I got these feet. They're really smooth, very fast. I put this mouse on a speed pad, and the 93-gram weight just feels like 70 or so. But if you are using a stock G403, like a wired version with the shitty cable and the bad stock feet, um, you are not using the same mouse as me. Like, it's just, it's crazy how different. Like, a, and on a QCK or something, um, this mouse definitely, for me, when I upgraded it and put it on a good mouse pad uh, that is when it became very viable and just really interesting because since the mouse is heavier um, my aim was definitely more stable on this mouse tracking was fine it, i wasn't able to like move it at the speed i can move a 60 gram or like a 50 gram wireless mouse but i was able to adjust really easily and quickly um in my last video i put some gameplay i got on the first day with it and i don't prefer it to the super light i'm not gonna lie i do prefer the click feeling um because it's just the the super light logitech clicks not a ton of tactility and logitech is really the only company who can pull that off without the switch which is feeling mushy and yeah just like the click feeling a lot but getting back to the super light comparison the super light is still more narrow and i think at the current point i prefer at, at the current point what the fuck why can't i speak english at this point i think i prefer ambi mice that are lighter than a heavier ergo mouse if logitech comes out with a super light version of this that honestly could get the seal of approval from me um it 
it's really a shape that I enjoy. I wish it was a bit less wide. That's something that kind of annoys me on the right side, but there is a ton of room, I guess, which is a plus. Um, it's a good shape for redacted grip, but that was not my natural grip on this mouse. I really like the sharp and tall back um, for claw grip, and I just felt like I was in control of this mouse, even though it was um, heavier than what I'm adjusted to, uh, but I was using like the Raid and the Shinkai. I was even using like Hian clones and it was fine. Unrelated, but I will be reviewing these pads, making a return to mouse pad reviews. Um, but yeah, if you have big hands, like trust me, like over 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters, people are trying to say like hand size doesn't matter, but like put somebody with like fucking 16 cm hands on this mouse, they will be miserable. Um, so if you have big hands um, and you don't mind a heavier mouse, and if you just throw on some aftermarket feet, this could be an endgame mouse, and this whole setup is, like, under $90. So I think it's a steal in that regard. If it does have any, like, quality issues long-term, you are covered by the Logitech warranty, I guess. Um, but it is unfortunate. I, so I hope they come out with a new version. Um, but even this is still a steal for $80, and I can't believe I got it for $57. That just doesn't feel right. Um, and if you did get it on Prime Day, let me know what you're thinking of it. The battery and stuff is basically seems the same as the old G Pro wireless if you turn the RGB off it'll last longer but I have mine bright as fuck going fast because it's just epic um, that's why I prefer this mouse over the super light with no RGB uh, but yeah it's definitely a better value than a lot of other mice on the market but it's just not keeping up with the current trends really but I know a lot of people who are into mice also aren't keeping up with the current trends you know that's why I'm gonna be fucking reviewing a Zowie mouse that's besides the point, though. There's really not much else to cover. The scroll wheel is very average. I think it's the same encoder as the super light, just tension a bit differently. Um, one issue I had was when I was like scroll wheel resetting, um, I would click this DPI button so easily. So if they ever do make a future version, they should definitely optimize that because the way Logitech software works, it's kind of AIDS. Fuck, I shouldn't say that. It, it's kind of buggy. Um, so yeah, I, I don't like that. So that that's another flaw of this mouse along with the stock face. I, I don't know what else there is to say, man. G703, pretty cool. If they come out with a updated version, that will probably get the seal of approval. But like I said, this mouse is still viable for people with large hands who don't fingertip grip. Um, and at $80, that's a solid price point for like a premium wireless ergo mouse. Um, but that's going to be all for this video. Make sure to leave a like and sub if you enjoyed. Um, I, was, I was shocked by the G703, I will say it. But yeah, let's go Gretxa and Medium Final Mouse reviews soon. Poggers.